And so when we talk, start talking space weather, the question is, how bad could it get? How could it really impact us? So I'm joined now by Brent Jordan. He's the acting director here of the uh, Space Weather Prediction Center. Brent, how bad could an event caused by a solar storm be here on Earth? Well, Jen, I've heard you talk about the 1859 Carrington uh, storm. Um, if we had that today, it could be potentially very bad. Um, but our space weather forecasters are on duty 24 hours a day in constant communication with our key customers to let them know when bad space weather is coming so that they can take steps to you know, reduce the possibility that major impacts would happen. Like power out for hours, days longer? Yes. In fact, in two um, in, uh, 2003, uh, Hydro-Quebec had a major outage. Uh, people were out of power during the middle of the uh, you know, winter with uh, for eight hours. So it's uh, it could be potentially and very bad. And six million people. So it's six a million. lot of a That's lot of real right. estate affected. You mentioned your customers. Who who receives space weather forecasts? Uh, you know, it, it's it's quite amazing. I, I mentioned the power grid, uh, but we have uh, farmers who use precision GPS to to plow their fields. Uh, they are customers of ours. Um, the the drilling industry, the the petrochemical industry, is a big customer of ours, and and even pigeon racers. Uh, strangely enough, uh, pigeons are affected by geomagnetic storms, and uh, we have a few pigeon racers that. I uh, think I think that is so fascinating. Um, when it comes to uh, customers, though, and the community, it's not just a U.S. problem and, of course, challenge, so it's international concern, right? That's right. Space weather is is a world worldwide problem, and we actually have um, partners around the world that help us track the sun. Uh, when the sun sets over the U.S., uh, there's still space weather going on. Uh, we rely on our partners in uh, Asia and Europe to track the sun while it's down over the U.S. You know, speaking of tracking the sun, you've got some satellites, you've got some ground-based telescopes. You, how, how are we going to continue to get information about what's happening on the sun? Um, you know, it's it's the same worldwide uh, network that brings us uh, terrestrial weather um, uh, measurements every day. We use that to get the measurements in here um, and analyze them and put the warnings out in time. It's very much like making a weather forecast for rain. It is very much like that. Yes, it is. We and need to analyze all the data that we can get a hold of and put the right forecast out at the right time. All right. Well, Brent Gordon, thank you so much for joining us. Very interesting. Thanks for having us here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. My pleasure.